Well, hello everyone. It's Julian from BD Cosmos. I have returned. Miss me? Yeah. Uh, so we're filming a new video. We're talking about our top ten books for the month of August. They're releasing in October of 2022. So uh, it's been a pretty hectic time for the last couple of months here at BD Cosmos. Uh, I'm working on some new projects for the store. Um, including a uh, redesign on certain products, lines, how we're going to process our, 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 our eBay store and, and our Shopify store, uh, working on some new products, uh, working on uh, um, uh, the, 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 the methods for which uh, our, it's best for our subscribers to get their books. So uh, we're working on projects. It's taking a lot of time from, away from me. And on, on a personal side of things, um, uh, it, there's, it's just more hectic at home. There are more things happening at this time, uh, with even more things coming down the road pipe, uh, down the road, um, and we're we're some losing some 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 key members of our staff. Uh, Rachel is going away for on her student exchange for the next couple of months, so uh, that puts more pressure on the rest of the staff to get all her work done. Uh, she is, she's, I mean, yes, she's the director of operations for the store, so she has a lot of responsibilities that all of us have to be taking on while she's away in Japan uh, for, to finish up her uh, bachelor's degree. So, uh, in any event, uh, and for the people who are going to ask me, Julian, where's the camera? Well, uh, I, uh, I don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, I have even bought a new camera, and uh, it's, uh, I, I, I can't get it to connect i'm doing something terribly wrong uh i don't know if it's a port situation i'm i've i've uh, i mean like i said i just got a new new one replaced the old one i thought the old one was just defective um it, it it's just not catching the the uh, there's it's not connecting to the computer it's there's no drivers being responded to there's nothing uh, it's, it's not capturing the new product so um and it's and gonna have a hard time believing that uh, all my USB C ports are defective, uh, mostly because um, other things are connected to the USB C ports right now and pr working perfectly. So I am doing something wrong. I just don't know what it is. But hey, it's eleven o'clock at night on a Thursday night, and I was kind of tired of figuring trying to fight for the last hour. So in any event, let's talk about top ten books for. Um, August 2022, as usual, we're using Managed Comics over on our own site, bdcosmos.com. So this is our subscription service for regular subscribers. This is not a prepaid. It's a postpaid service. A prepaid service, we... Uh, for prepaid, uh, our personal stance is we, we will, if you, you're, you're prepaying for something, um, you, you should get uh, a bonus out of that. So, again, that's something that we're working towards. Um, like you, if you're, you're going to pay out of pocket or ahead of time for a product, you, you should get a better discount than someone who may or may not, you know, end up picking up their pull list. So, obviously, a, a subscription service has its benefits. Play it can, Our customers always guaranteed their books no matter what we get the de de defective um, products uh, damaged uh, comic books we'll get them replaced they're they've they've subscribed to them uh, we're guaranteeing their price uh, but if you prepay there should be more bonuses towards that so I, I think a mix of both services has its um, uh, qualities for it so uh, but for uh, either prepaid or postpaid service these top 10 books seem to be the ones that i am the most interested in this month so uh, and, and as we're talking about them some of them might be very interesting as well for a um speculation side of things um there are at least one of them that i was i, I was very much intrigued in uh, and that's actually the last pick of this one this video so we're splitting as usual into two videos uh five in the first five in the second the five uh, five first books will be on the not marvel dc side of things so usually the not superhero side of things and then in the, in the in the second video we'll be talking about marvel and dc as we usually do plus our obligatory trade paperback that we do every month um so let's get to it what do we have first here um so uh first okay so sarah Lone. um okay let's start off beginning uh 
uh, Sumerian Comics, uh, Sumerian Studios, if I'm not mistaken, uh, purchased Behemoth Comics, and now they're called Sumerian Comics. Uh, so Eric Arnaud is a French uh, writer, and um, I, I'm going to assume that this was originally printed in uh, uh, in France as a bande dessinée, and it's been translated into English by uh, the team over in Behemoth. They're not Sumerian. Uh, the concept is pretty interesting. You know, it's it, it's a stripper uh, in in uh, New Orleans. This seems to be 50s era. Uh, and um, she, she's being uh, blamed for murder, and then other the mafia are trying to get to her, and then the, the, the police are protecting her, uh, the Secret Service are protecting her. I like the cover, I like the art style, uh, and then I looked up Eric Arnoux, Eric Arnoux, very prolific writer, and so the, the, the concept uh, as a mature book seemed really interesting. Uh, it You have to be, uh, again, you have to be okay with nudity, you have to be okay with... Um, um, I would guess the female form and blood. Uh, if it's a murder, I mean, look at the trail of blood here at the bottom. So if you're uh, into that kind of thing, not obviously not everyone is into that kind of thing, uh, but it is certainly a noir type book. So the the concept seemed interesting, uh, and uh, and I want to talk about Sumerian comics being a new thing that is actually an old thing. So it, it worked out together that uh, this seems like a, a good book to talk about this month. Uh, next up, uh, Damn Them All, uh, which is honestly, this is like a Constantine pick type uh, uh, series. Uh, it's the, the two good things are about it is, is Cy Spurrier is writing it and Charlie Adler is uh, drawing it. Charlie Adler, well, Simon Spurrier. Um, a lot of X-Men books right now, and he's he's got another book at, at uh, Boom, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't recall which one. Um, and then Charlie Adler is the... Um, uh, ongoing artist, well, it was the ongoing artist for um, uh, The Walking Dead, but yeah, it's it is just like uh, another Constantine type character who's uh, uh, with the occult and magic and whatnot. And it's the my my main gruff against this title is that it's only a mini series of six books. So um, I, I <laughs> and occult and interior, I didn't even read. I didn't realize that it was literally in the description of the of the series right here. My I just I was just reading this text like yeah, this is what this is. This is what it feels like, and they're they're literally writing it down there. I didn't add. That's honestly I didn't. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, it's a mini series of six. It's a quick book. Um, this to me feels that if it does well, they'll have a series two, um, and then. It can be easily pitched to become a, a movie type thing. I'm, I it, the art. I, I'm a huge fan of Charlie Adler's art, so that's why I'm recommending it. Um, I, I plus it's it is a quick book to read as it's only six issues. You know my preference is always ongoing series. Uh, I like to be like 25 issues into a series. Uh, that is how I grew up on comic books, but there is definitely some merit to this particular uh, type uh, of book, and Cy Spurrier is a fantastic writer as well, so uh, yeah, check it out, uh, from Boom Studios. Okay, um, Siren's Gate is interesting because Shannon Mayer, uh, the cover artist, is doing the writing, the cover art, and the interior art, and Shannon's art style is uh, some kind of uh, CGI paint from my understanding and so he's doing the full book himself uh, it's also a dynamite book well dynamite is publishing it um, it is I believe a three or four part series um, and I'm going to assume that as well that the uh, um, that Shannon has been working on this for a long time to be able to get this much material done uh, it is an adult book it's very much mature it's about um, um, also a sex worker, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, there, are, there are pages out there uh, from previous world that's available, if I'm not mistaken, or at dynamite.com. I'm not, I don't recall which one. Um, dynamiteentertainment.com. Uh, uh, how it looks like. Um, the story seems, if I'm very honest, fine. But the point of the picking of the book is just to see the art the whole way through. Uh, it, again, it's a miniseries, and then I'm huge, I really enjoy Shannon's type of style of art. Uh, so I, I was, it, I, I even think other people have, uh, have 
mentioned that the uh, when Alex Ross did Marvels, uh, completely painted. But this was like thirty years ago now. Uh, so Shannon Mary with his CGI art painting, uh, doing his own series. It seems interesting. Again, I'm I'm. I'm, I'm in, I enjoy his art and the storytelling seems fine. Uh, so it is. this is not a book that was like, hey, this will capture you as a story. But it, and again, it, we could, but it's also the first time he's writing his own series, any book of that matter. So that scares me, but I, I have often recommended the covers that Chen has done. So uh, I, I, let's, let's at least um, feel free to pre-order a cover right here. To at uh, which is three nine nine, it's five Canadian, and then you can just try number one, see if you like it, and then uh, go from there. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Junkyard Joe, which is part of the um, Geiger series of books. So this is from uh, uh, Jeff Johns and Gary Frank. Uh, it is a um, um, period book, not really. It's uh, it's a war book. So Junkyard Joe is, I, if I'm not mistaken, it's Vietnam War, uh, and um, it's uh, it's it's just part of the same universe. So anyone who's uh, enjoyed Geiger from Jeff Johns, this should be automatically next on your pull, uh, because again, it's from the same universe. So if you enjoyed it, you can take the main cover, uh, and then uh, every single one of the covers, you can see all these variants that are down here. The uh, they have black and white heritage or survivors or something war like covers they have so in total there are 10 different available covers but they're just variants of each other so a black and white version of this book and then a black and white version of each one of these books but they're they are all all you can order as far as i can tell at this time maybe they'll change out at foc there are no incentive covers at all so if you want to be a completionist for junkyard joe you can do that and then the last book is uh, something that really caught my eye from uh, Black Mask. It's called Rogue State. And I was pitching this to uh, my buddy PF, which we'll eventually be doing um, again our uh, uh, spec books. Uh, this could be a spec book. It is a, essentially the way I pitched it to them is what if uh, the January 4th riots uh, actually took hold and things uh, went really downhill. So what if the, the, the actual country in the United States split up into different militias, into different state-run, uh, well, not state-run, but um, uh, mini, uh, mini republics uh, fighting against each other? And so the character, the main character is called uh, Via of Bright Stars, and uh, she's, it, people are uncertain if she's a freedom fighter or a terrorist. Um, and but yeah, it's um, it's a really dark take, and what if it's just like really gotten worse? And I think that's really interesting because there's uh, while people are uh, there, there's so much research being done, and then uh, uh, what over happened on the January fourth uh, riots in the United States and Capitol? Um, then what if it, a again a what if story? What if it went really wrong? Uh, goes deeper. Uh, I think that's an interesting concept, and uh, I'm uh, I'm glad that it, it came out so fast. To be honest, uh, and Black Mask is also really down on this particular series. Uh, we don't see them here, uh, but they have three main covers: uh, the regular main cover, the foil version, which is Virgin, if I'm not mistaken, and then a C cover here. Then there they have a 125 cover, which is a version of the C, and a 150 cover, which is not shown here by different artists. So Black Mass seems to think that they also have a hit. Uh, and so I'm ordering a bunch for the store on the speculation side of things. I'm also going to be uh, promoting it on our eBay store uh, at cover price until its FOC is passed, uh, which is not, it's less than a month away on, on the on uh, September 12th uh, it, it honestly it looks really interesting so if you like those um, twists on uh, current events uh, yeah this could be right up your alley as well all right so that was our top five independent books for the month uh, these are books theoretically coming out in October of 2022 uh, if uh, no paper delays or whatnot happens for these particular titles on average these publishers don't print that many books so usually hit their targets on time uh, but obviously things can happen I've certainly seen certain series where um, the first book comes out and then the third second and third and fourth book all, all come out in succession because of 
of so many paper delays or other delays internally for themselves. So yeah, who who really wants to uh, order a a number two, three, and four again in succession in one week after? It's it's kind of frustrating, and you order them so long in advance. But it's it's the world that we live in, sadly. But yeah, so these are five books I find really interesting. If you feel there are certain series that I didn't mention, uh, I there was one I made, didn't make the cut was Dark Ride from uh, from Skybound that uh, I read in the Skybound X twenty five, and that was really interesting. And that was my sixth pick, and I had to cut it. Uh, but yeah, feel free to let us know down below in the comments that there is a book that uh, you think yeah this is really really good and other people should look it up uh, feel free to share this video with your friends if there are other videos uh, other books that they're looking to pick up and uh, we'll see us soon see us real soon for more top five books to discuss thank you so much and bye for now